2016. Studies show that increasing the minimum wage actually increases jobs as lower wage workers spend their increased income on goods and services, thus stimulating the economy. Yeah, exactly. Raising the minimum wage to $10.50 would benefit 30 million hard-working Americans. It is time for those in Congress to increase their productivity. Urge your representative to support H.R. 1346 to raise the minimum wage to $10.50 at an annual salary of a $174,000. It's the least those bums can do. Yeah, and that's not counting the weeper of the house's salary and 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 uh, well, bitch McConnell, turtle face. Uh, don't they make? Uh, they make more. Yeah. They make more than that. Not counting their perks, and, and not counting the fact that they only work like a few days a month. No, they don't work. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They repeal a few days a month. Repeal the cans. Repeal the cans. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, one more for the road? One more for the road. Conditions are ripe. Conditions are ripe. For the Atlantic region to have up to nine hurricanes. Uh, and this is the, uh, the beginning of the hurricane season. And as many as five major ones. So we're having a very active storm season this year. I know, like it. So the hurricanes might be more in a hurry this year, this season. With, with winds of at least 111 miles per hour. So we might get higher category than Sandy. Might be a category two. Hey, Sandy was only a tropical storm. It wasn't a. Was it a category one or no? No. And look at all the damage it did. Correct. And it wasn't. Well, it it was supposed to go out to sea. Yeah. Normally. But it made an illegal left turn. It made an illegal left turn, and like a like a ball in a pinball machine, it just lingered and ricocheted and bum 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 it just lingered in the corner between you know where New York City Long Island and the Jersey Shore was it just went in that corner and did its damage and it wasn't even a full category one and we're supposed to get worse storms because of uh, climate change Dur uh, during the rest of this fall and summer the outlook gives a 70% chance for the Atlantic, Caribbean, and Gulf of Mexico to experience above normal activity during this year's, <coughs> excuse me, six month hurricane season. Really? Which runs from June through November. Really? November? It can go as far as November. Well, remember, Sandy was October, no? And that will be a November to remember. Sandy was October. Sandy was in October. Of those, six to nine are projected to be hurricanes. The 30-year seasonal average, by comparison, includes 12 named storms with six hurricanes and three of them a major. Among the reasons for such an active outlook, Sea surface temperatures for the Atlantic Ocean are warmer than usual. And West Africa is experiencing a stronger rainy season. In addition, two of the four named tropical storms that already occurred this year formed near Africa, which historically indicates an active season. <coughs> Finally, forecasters don't expect El Nino to develop this season. El Nino is an unusually warm flow of Pacific water that generates strong easterly winds. El Nino. La Nina is when it's cooler, 10 degrees cooler, I believe, in the Pacific. The federal report is a reminder that the heart of hurricane season, mid-August through October, is upon us. Even as sections of New Jersey shore 
and the Middle Lands still struggle to recover from the damage caused by Superstorm Sandy. I thought we were stronger than the storm. That's Chris Christie that thinks he's stronger than the storm. If they use Chris Christie as a seawall, you know, he might be strong there, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, seawall. Chris Christie? Oh. Hey! One of my shingle bells just fell off. Uh, the point is that um, nobody's stronger than Mother Nature, you know, and, and he, de he doesn't live on the coast, so Christie doesn't get hammered. What was that commercial? You mean with the song? No. You can't fool Mother Nature. Oh, that was uh, a margarine Mother? commercial. Yeah, margarine? Uh, yeah, that was the woman... Uh, who uh, gets pissed at, yeah, yeah, anyway, it's an old, old, from the 60s. Uh, but anyway, Christie doesn't live near the coast. It's easy for him to talk, and, and you know, the, uh, the, many of the people that lost their homes are still uh -huh. waiting for aid, and they're still waiting, yeah. and uh, yeah. you can't, <laughs> just think about it. It, it. We did not get a full-fledged bona fide category one hurricane with Sandy. It was a very strong tropical storm. Could you imagine if, and it's very possible, a category two comes up here this year? While the federal agency does not forecast likely hurricane paths, each storm is influenced by local atmospheric conditions. That change week to week. An active hurricane season could mean significant damage from a tropical storm in New Jersey for the third year in a row. After Sandy last October and tr tropical storm Irene in 2011. Studies have shown that more overall storms equal a greater chance for an impact here in New Jersey. Our look through the record book does not show three consecutive years with impactful storms striking New Jersey. The conditions conducive to hurricanes, warmer ocean water, weaker trade winds, and a strong West African monsoon season have been in place since 1995. Researchers have found that the Atlantic is subject to patterns of both active or inactive hurricane seasons that can last for 25 to 40 years. The conditions change because of natural variations in the strength of the ocean's circulating currents. The warmer sea temperatures that help generate hurricanes are the result of these natural patterns and not due to climate change. Yes, yeah, sure. But the effects of climate change, including a rise in the sea level, can cause today's storms to generate more coastal flooding and damage than past storms of similar strength. Localized weather conditions influence where a hurricane will head once it has formed. If a ridge of high pressure forms from Bermuda to Texas, that blocks hurricane movement up the East Coast, good, and forces storms into the Gulf of Mexico. But if there is no high along the coast, storms can move north up the so-called Atlantic Alley. Currently, a Bermuda High is positioned off the East Coast, and a trough mm -hmm. in the jet stream is centered over the Great Lakes, mm -hmm. which means the Atlantic Alley is somewhat clear. The potential for a tropical storm to come up the East Coast is there over the next few weeks. Hmm. Wow. But the timing would have to be right. There will be, never be another storm named Sandy. 
Yeah, they're starting to use male names. Uh, which has been retired from the list of rotating names for tropical storms, said Dennis Feltgen, a federal spokesman and meteorologist. Sandy was replaced by Sarah. Did they, did they do it alphabetically? Really? Well, anyway, that's it. Oh, let me just do a, a little quick promo of, uh. of something we've been we have been selling for a long time. Um, on from our Mega Life Twenty One hard hitting internet talk radio station. It is an age old, ancient product. Two of. Um, Mother Nature's most effective, natural, time-proven uh, tonics, okay, uh, red Panax ginseng liquid extract with royal jelly, uh, fed only to the queen bees, mega strength, royal jelly in liquid vials, there's 30 vials in this box, one month supply, with uh, Panax ginseng, the most effective ginseng, red Panax ginseng and royal jelly, mega strength. From mainland China, so you get 30 vials, that's a month's supply. Excellent, excellent tonic for men and women alike. And um, you, can, uh, you can order yours right now by simply going to our uh, radio station which is at the top, the link is at the top of uh, newslettersensor.com. Click on the, the link and then go scroll to the bottom and you will see that this here. We also have some, uh, some uh, uh, ancient, very uh, medicinal Chinese teas there, but this is our flagship product so far. Um, Panax ginseng red panax ginseng with royal jelly it comes in this beautiful box okay you got it all right hopefully they can see it that's it got it thank you for joining us for progressive discussions this week we'll catch you next time bye bye say so long to these so long, people these jabronis